Oh my God. Our, oh my God, thank you guys for coming. I know I tried to dress up for this. I'm really bad at dressing up. This is as good as it gets for me. I just, no matter how hard I try, I just end up looking like a cool nun. That's like what I, what I get. Yeah. Oh my God. I, I, tur I turned 51 this year. Can you? All right. All right. Woo. Woo. It's, it's, are, you, have you, are you there yet? Because it's like almost 50. Isn't it like, you know, it, it's like things change, like all over. It's like, like, I don't know what's happening with my hair. I never did this before. It used to just be a regular haircut, and now I call it the Senator from the South. And it's just like, <laughs> you know, it, it, and it's like, it's like, it, it when, and when you're born, when you're born, it's like your body is a vessel for your soul. And then when you get hit, you hit 50, and all of a sudden, it's like your body's just like a haunted pirate ship. And it's, it's, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Like you, like you hear this this scary noise, and you're like, "What is that?" And you're like, "Oh my God! It's 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 coming from my neck." And that's, is that, you know what I mean? All my portholes are loose and leaky. It's bad. It's not fun. And my, my doctor told me I have to lose weight. My friends are like, that's terrible. She's fat shaming you. And I'm like, you look amazing. And I'm like, I know. But it's just like, th this is how you know you have to lose weight. Uh, is if you uh, bend down to tie your shoes and all of a sudden you can't hear. That's like, that means, that, 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 that means my neck almost exploded. That's what that means. I mean, and, and it's like, and I, and I need, I, I, I'm looking forward, I lost a few pounds, and I need, and I'm glad because it's not a good look when it, like, because I just look like if I have more weight on me, I just look like a, I'm 10 years in a Tommy Bahama shirt away from being mistaken for one of Bill Murray's brothers. I'm just not, <laughs> not... I don't want, don't want to go down that way. And uh, I'm, I'm glad I'm here in uh, uh, Minneapolis. I used to live in Buffalo, New York, and I, I moved out here for a job. And I forgot to tell my friends, and I told them I'm living in Minnesota. They're like, what happened? Were, <laughs> were, you, were you taken? And, it's like, and I'm like, no, that's how you end up in Wisconsin. And it, it just like, <laughs> boom. And, uh, yeah, stick it to Wisconsin. And uh, uh, I, be, before before I lived here, I was trying to find a job in uh, Portland, and uh, it was great. I loved the Northwest; it was beautiful, it's gorgeous. Uh, but I had like this this incident when I was on a bus there. Uh, I'll go back a little bit. When I was in Buffalo, and I, lo I lost my job, and I was trying to make it as a comic, and I asked the club owner there, "How come you don't book me as much as the guys?" And he was very honest with me, and he said, "Well, you're just a little too dikey looking." for us and uh it's it's fine it's fine it's all it, it's you know it saves me the trouble of having to tell people and it's uh and, and now i in minnesota and now i just blend in it's crazy it's really crazy and, uh, uh, but when i was in portland i got on the the bus one morning and there's all these homeless people on the bus and after i got on there's this older african-american homeless man gets on and this, one of his friends asks him, like, hey, Carl, how you doing today? And then Carl says, I'd do a lot better if it weren't for all these fucking faggots and lesbians around. And I didn't think he was talking to me at all. But the bus driver stops the bus, and she yells at him, hey, you can't say that word on this bus. And then Carl says, what word? And she says, the F word. And Carl says, what? Fucking? I can't say fucking. She goes, no, the other F word. And then Carl just says to the whole bus, like, oh, she doesn't want me saying that word because she's a lesbian. I look at the bus driver and I think to myself, yeah, probably. And then, <laughs> I think he's, and then, I, I, I should have waited because she said, no, I'm not a lesbian. And I said to myself, what? And then, <laughs> and she, said, she says, no, I'm not a lesbian, but there might be somebody on this bus who is. And then everybody else on the bus <laughs> turned and looked at me. And I just, uh, and then, and then she kicked him off the bus, and she she did that because uh, on every sign on the on buses there it says we support civil rights, and she kicked him off. And I don't know, I'm a little conflicted 
Yeah, well, I'm a little conflicted because uh, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think the best way to show your support for civil rights is by kicking black people off a bus. But anyway, that's my time. Thank you.